Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the beginning of geometry, so we're going to talk about points, line segments, lines, and rays, how to draw the picture of all these objects, and how to write their abbreviations, okay? So a point is the smallest piece of geometry we can have, and that's really easy. We just draw a little dot. It's a location. That's our point. The other thing we need with a point is we need a letter. We need to give it a name, because if I drew a bunch of points here. You don't know what point I'm talking about unless I give it a name. So, we'll go back to our original point here, and I'm just going to call it M. And the abbreviation is actually longer than actually drawing the point. We just write the word point M. So I basically say, can you show me point M? I can look real quick and say, there it is. If I have a whole field of points, but that one has an M next to it, I know which one you're talking about. Okay? Now, if we take a bunch of points and we put them all together really, really close, if I can look at this thing underneath the microscope, it would look like a bunch of points all right next to each other. We're going to do the shortest version first, which is called a line segment. And I talked about how segment means a part. It's a part of something. Worms can be broken into segments. If I want to break something up, I have a segment of it. So, in order to take a piece of this, we're going to put two points on the end. And these are special points because they are called endpoints, okay? That means this thing is stopped. I can measure this thing because it's not getting any bigger than this. When we do line segments, we have to use two letters to give it a name. So let's just go with A and B. Now when we write the abbreviation for this, we draw a line segment on top, and we can call this thing AB. That's one of the names we can give this, or B, A. So this is line segment A, B, or B, A, and that's it. That's how big that thing is. You can actually measure it. I keep saying that because a line is different. When we look at a line, when we draw lines, we'll draw the same, use our straight edge, draw a nice straight line segment here, but then we put arrows on the end. And the reason we put arrows on the end is because a line goes on forever and ever 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 and ever. It goes on forever in both directions. In fact, if we were being truthful and honest and I was drawing a line, I would just keep drawing and drawing and drawing until I fell over dead. And then I just have to hand the marker off to somebody else and they keep going on and on and on and on and on until they were dead. And then they'd pass it on to someone. You could never really draw a line. So what we do is we put arrows on the end just to let everybody know this thing's growing forever. We can't measure a line because a line is getting bigger forever and ever and ever. We still need to give it a name, though. So we're going to put points right inside these arrows. And why don't we just call this line CD, okay? And just like we did with the line segment, a line segment stopped. This one we're going to put arrows on top. And we're going to call this CD or I could call it DC. So you've got two names for that as well. This one we can measure, this one we can't measure, because it goes on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. The last one we're going to look at is a ray. And the way that I explain it to the kids is think about the sun. So I draw a little sun down here with the rays of sunshine coming off. And a ray is only going to be going in one direction. I say it's like part line segment part line. So on one end, I'm going to make it look like a line segment. On the other end, I'm going to make it look like a line. I still have to name this, so why don't we go with E and F, since we're using all the letters in order here. And a ray is different because it can only be named one way. We have to start at the sun and go away from it. Our rays of sunshine don't go back into the sun, they go away from the sun. So I always start at that end point and I name it this way. So I have my line going like this, my ray E F. And that's the only way that you can name that ray, is to start at the end point and go towards the arrow. Okay? So take a look one last time at the beginnings of our geometry. And you can see we have point, point M, line segment, A B or B A. And also notice, even though we have endpoints here, we didn't have to put that up here when we did the name before. We don't need so point, line segment, line grows forever and ever, so we put arrows on the end, 
and that can be named two ways. An array can only be named one way. It starts at the endpoint and goes away from the sun. And that is the beginning of geometry.